Hi everyone, it's me, Crystal. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are continuing Inktober. It is day 27 and the prompt for today is coat. I had two different thoughts immediately. One was to do Georgie from It and the other was to do the Ghost from Dark Water. I decided to go with the latter and do it in a very expressionistic, non-realistic style. I wanted a bunch of lines and color in it to feel dark, but be very expressive at the same time. I started with using some Strathmore Cold Press watercolor paper, and I'm using a Crank paint marker in K75 and a bright yellow. I always forget that this larger marker here smells very strongly of alcohol, so if you use these, you might want to either wear a mask, have a fan on, or have a window open. They have some pretty gnarly fumes. Once that base coat of that marker is dry, I start going in with a Bic mechanical pencil in order to get a sketch going. I do make it too big the first time. I wanted the feet to still be in frame of the drawing, so I do end up erasing it and starting over. I knew having eraser marks would not be a huge deal for this one because of the amount of marker and layering I was going to end up doing. That layer of paint marker really wanted to hold on to the pencil. That graphite sticks pretty well to it, just a heads up. At this point, I start drawing it a little smaller so that we can get the full body into the frame. Today's project is a lot looser. I wanted it to be a lot more expressive and loose and not get caught up too much on little details. That vampire one I did a couple days ago, I put a lot of energy and detailing into that one. And last night... I went to an art show, so I was out a little late, and I still wanted to get a drawing done for today. So, just wanted to play around and do something kind of fun, and it's what I'm doing. At this point, I am bringing in a fine-tipped Kiritake Zig marker. It has a bunch of Japanese writing on it. I do not know specifically what model it is, but it is a different one than the other one I've been mostly using. Go figure. I wanted to make any parts of her actual body that were showing just straight up black and then give her some glowing red eyes just to add to that otherworldly, eerie, ghosty type feel. And for the background, I ended up doing some very messy black lines, just vertical ones for at least part of it, and then I do some horizontal ones towards the bottom. I also give a healthy dose of lines to the outline of our little ghosty here and to give little lines and insinuations of lines for her hair and the wrinkles in her little raincoat. For the reference photo I use, it's one of those kind of sheer raincoats where you can still see the clothing underneath. So I tried to give some insinuations of her arms and her legs showing through, and in the reference she's also wearing a little dress, so I wanted to give the idea that it's there without excessively expressing that it is, if that makes sense. I still can't believe that October is almost over, and that Inktober will be as well. After today, there is only four days left. Have you guys also been doing Inktober? How far have you made it in? What have been some challenges you guys have come across? Please let me know in that comment section down below. I know for myself here personally, getting towards the end, there have been some scheduling issues. Just going to art shows and stuff and making sure things are shipped and back on time. I was in four so far this October. And preparing for that stuff, doing drop-offs, doing pickups, making sure everything is labeled, making sure everything's packed safely for shipment. It's a little time consuming. And usually when I don't feel like drawing, I usually don't. Making myself do it when I haven't really been in the mood has been challenging, but I think it's good. And now back to the drawing at hand. I have most of my black lines in there, and now I am going in with a white Posca pen to pull out highlights. 
I am putting white down for the eyes that I'm going to make red later to help brighten it up. I want that red to be fairly vibrant, and if you put it over black, it's not going to work quite as well. I also pull in a white gel pen to help get some thinner lines going on. And honestly, I probably did not have to pull in the red, but I wanted to, so I do. At this point, I'm just bouncing around with the black marker again, adding more lines. And here, I pull in a red Prismacolor for the eyes. It's a little darker than what I wanted it to be. But while I allow that to dry, I pull in more highlights with the Posca pen. And I bring back that black Kiritake marker to do more lines. Got a lot of messy lines going on in this here drawing. I do pull in a red Sharpie paint marker. I keep pulling in the wrong one. One of them doesn't work quite as well and I always forget which one it is. So I bring in the other one that is a bit brighter. The reason I did so many vertical lines in the background is that I wanted to insinuate that there was rain going on. I also pull in that crank marker in yellow again to help add more yellow back in. I did realize that putting it over the black marker that I have there, it does blend it out. So that one, you should wait till the end if you're doing any lining. Do not put any wet media over it because it will move it around. Oopsie, it happens. For this, I just decided to roll with that mistake. The goal of this one was to create something and let go and just have fun with it. And at this point, I am just bouncing around with the different markers and pens that I have going on. I do decide to pull in more of that red Sharpie marker throughout. I add some more red lines in the background and I also do an outline of the figure in red. I think doing this made it feel more cohesive overall. Well, this piece here is almost done. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, or concerns, or you want to tell me how your Inktober's been going, what you've been making, what you've been using, please let me know in that comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video and listen to me ramble about art stuff. I really appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you will definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody! Thank you.